It is impossible to imagine the world ending on such a fine fall day. Yet the storm of Muslim horses continues to rage throughout Europe, leaving conquered cities and shattered armies stunned in its wake. The lightning quick strikes of the Muslim horses break the city of Bordeaux and then Poitiers, leaving precious little of the Frankish kingdom to defend. Yet Charles Martel gathers the disheartened Frankish army for one last stand at the city of Tours. Muslim horses, bred for speed and beauty, began to splash across the Vienne River. Martel's knights and swordsmen, trudging under the weight of iron mail, struggle to interpose themselves between the Muslims and the city of Tours. Carrion birds circle in the air, anticipating the savagery to come. The rest of Europe watches anxiously, for this is the climax of the Muslim invasion and the last stand of Christian Europe. The soul of the Frankish army was its knights, but Charles Martel knew that his cavalry, undisciplined, buried under weight of weapons and armor, could not match the swiftness of the Muslim riders. Therefore, he ordered the knights to dismount and join ranks with the Frankish swordsmen to form a tight shield wall. The Muslims had always conquered with swift offensiveness and were not equipped to counter the Franks' defensive strategy. The arrows of the Muslim archers bounced harmlessly off the heavy Frankish armor, and the light Muslim cavalry could not breach the human chain. Battered and bleeding, the Muslims broke ranks and fled back to the Pyrenees and the protection of Spain. From Charles Martel's Frankish kingdom eventually grew the Holy Roman Empire, making him the founding father of both Germany and France.